Okay, today we are at this stage. Now you can actually preview uh, the meeting slot, right? The green one means it's available, and the, the, the red one means it's unavailable. So basically, you can change your time here. And uh, uh, for share, that's for public. So it, it will copy the link to your clipboard. So it's actually the same link if you paste here. Actually, it's the same thing. It will like uh, delay it two seconds and open it. Uh, for public link, so this is the link you use to share with the uh, external user so they can book it. So when they could click this, they can book it, right? So so basically you have two, two, two your, uh, page, right? One is for preview. Uh, preview is uh, for your, yourself, right? To see, you can manipulate, like uh, I want to change this to available or I want to change this to unavailable. So today is what we want to do that. Uh, what we're gonna uh, hook up this call, right? Okay. So we'll, we'll deal with this later. This is the public, uh, like external view, like a user can book it. So internally, uh, when you have a meeting, uh, when you have uh, like when you have uh, a booking, fifteen minutes, right? You can preview it. So that's the preview page, right? And then you can make manipulation like okay oh this slot uh i don't i don't want to like make it available so i want to mark it right now it doesn't do anything okay so let's check our code right uh so this is the back end uh we define booking slot right so everything you see is actually uh, uh just the slot and uh, we have a booking links controller that will have a route for slot slot update right so this is a post call to change a slot to from on or off right so here uh, we are also hook up the uh, back end for uh, sorry the the api in the front end to update the slot right so we already exposed it in the action we now we just need to uh, hook it up in the calendar so let's go to the uh, components folder here is component. In the components folder, we have the uh, calendar. So that's the, the code for the calendar, okay? We, where you just see the calendar. So here we have a function to mark slot as off. So this is being called when you click, when you click those, uh, like the, the, the green, let's go back. So when you click this on off, right? Click this on off, right? So, okay. Okay. <coughs> Okay, let's, uh, so here basically you first, you take a slot, right? And uh, the slot, uh, let's first, uh, let's actually move this down. And uh, the slot, you want to change the on and off according to the Boolean, right? So then we need to send it, send the request, right? So here we, we need to hook up some state. Let's copy paste from other place. So let's say we have, uh, let's copy this, okay. It does nothing now. Because we want to add method, we need to hook it up, okay. Here, uh, we just define update booking link slot. Import it. So we import it from action, okay. Now this is, uh, the red line gone. Now let's add it here. So we let's check the signature. We need this parameter, okay? So here, void. Okay, so that's the input, okay? So now actually here, let's uh, <coughs> let's. Uh, Add it here so we can use it. Okay, now I'm gonna call this method, right? So here we just need to call it. So we already have the link, I think uh, here, okay, we have an object for the link. So we have three parameters, right? The booking link is its ID and uh, we have the slot, we already modified it. So let's pass the slot and uh, time zone. Uh, what time zone do we use? We can just, uh, because we are manipulating the, the link itself, so let's just use the link's time zone. Okay, now everything looks good. Okay, let's take a look how it does. So I'm refreshing so I can see the code, okay. 
So let's say we, we don't want this slot to be available. So change to unavailable. Did it send anything? Let's see what happened. Okay, looks like we have some. Okay, it's a read only of. Uh, so because this one, it's a read only. So let's uh, clone it. Okay, first. So first, we, because this object is read only. So uh, let's change it and then slot dot on equal. So this is we clone it. Then we we this is actually a new object. Okay, let's try it again. Does it work? Let's see. Uh, look closely. This isn't from nine to nine fifteen. Okay, we want to change this. On. Okay, cool. Looks works as expected. Okay, let's say I want to flip this back to on, like from this eight o'clock. Let's look at the traffic. Okay. Ah, something's wrong. Okay, what happened? Unsupported. Uh, what exactly was sent? Let's take a look. Uh, so Anton. Anton. Okay, let's look at the Java code. What is gone? So because we hit the five hundred error. So something is wrong. Probably something at the back end for some reason. Okay, we have some slot override, so we have a bug here. Okay, then we need to take a look why uh, the back end has an issue. Okay. Uh, here, the slot override for some reason. Okay, let's look at the database first. Actually, when it uh, is supposed to generate uh, uh, serialization here, which is on off. Yeah, I mean, let's use debug mode, okay. For some reason, this is, I mean, this is more like the backend issue, but we can take a look. Not the front end. I think our front end is <laughs> mostly good. Okay, so let's see. Let's do it again, okay. Okay, 500. Oh, we, uh, we should put a breakpoint there. Uh, let's uh, breakpoint. So we hit here and then we hit update slot. So let's see. Okay, let's run again. So looks like we got it. Uh, so this is the slot we, we passed in, right? On um, is true. We want to change it to true. Slot index is 35. And uh, we want to click here. So first they try to get the slots. Okay, let's see if we can hit here. So this is getting the slot from database. So it's just the existing one, 36, right? So we, we it was off, right? We mark 36 as off. And uh, mm, here it's trying to find the S. Uh, okay, let's see if we can find the match. So the match is empty, right? So, okay. What is slot override? So that's dot now, right? Okay. So it looks like, uh, here, so let's see. So it looks like it's throwing exception here. Uh, I don't see now. And uh, here, this is uh, okay. Let's see if we add it. Looks like the exception is throw here, huh? What exactly is now? Okay, let's take a look. Uh, here, it's giving us now exception for the list. Not sure. Let's put a breakpoint here and then let's do this again. Okay, next. Okay, so this is uh, an object. This is a list. And we are adding it. Why? So let's evaluate this. Why? What is going on? Which this is good. Huh. Okay, so looks like uh, the error doesn't seem to be here. Oh, it already is through exception. Not showing now. Element. So this is caused by, okay, actually this is through exception. And uh, the exception is uh, unsupported operation by trace. Method through unsupported operation. It's the, oh, uh, okay. I think that the slots, maybe when we get it, it's not modifiable. So, okay. So here, uh, when we say uh, uh, as a list, so this is really uh, like a Im immutable in Java. It's a, like an immutable list. So if we want to modify it, uh, let's clone it. So so that it, it is mutable. 
So okay. Yeah. Okay, I think now it's good. Yeah, we have a bug in the backend, so but uh, it should be good now. Let's see. So because when you use list, so you take a string from JSON uh, and uh, convert to be array list, and then uh, this suppose this array list is supposed to be immutable, and then we uh, we wrap it with because if it's immutable, you cannot add element to it. That's why it's throw exception. Okay, I think we are good now. Cool, right? So you can play with it now. And if you don't like it, yeah. Right. So look at what we are storing in the database. So this is probably 35, 36 on the index and in the database. Let's take a look. So we, I think we are storing two. I mean, let me refresh. Huh. Uh, okay, here. It's here. So, okay. So it's uh, two. One is 36, it's 35, right? So we are manipulating it. So this is stored in the database and when we manipulate it. And the, the, the UI is working as expected. Cool. 